Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and tonight we are going to be talking about Mr. Mike Bloomberg and his attempt to snatch the White House out of the jaws of the American Republic. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm just going to be I'm, – I'm mad at Mike Bloomberg, so I'm just going to be ranting at him. <laughs> Not really much of a story that I'm covering, but the reason that I wanted to do this is there I was. I'm not supposed to swear on YouTube, but no crap. There I was sitting at my desk at work today, minding my own business, and all of a sudden I get a message from the Bloomberg campaign. And I'm sitting here. I have to see this guy's face every 30 seconds on TV. Leave me alone, Mike Bloomberg. God says, hi, uh, I'm blank from, I'm not going to say the person, um, from Mike Bloomberg's campaign. With, such, with so much at stake, Americans deserve a Democratic candidate who can beat Donald Trump. Will you support Mike? Uh, no, <laughs> I will not. Because of that, don't text me. Stop putting ads on my TV, Mike Bloomberg. The thing is, and not only that, not don't just vote for him because he's annoying, even though he is. He is annoying. He tried to buy this election. There's no other way to put it. He just is. You might you might be saying to me, uh, you know, oh well, Donald Trump did the, the same thing. Well, no, not really. He spent about seventy million of his own money, I should say. That Donald spent about seventy million dollars of his own money, which, yeah, ninety nine point nine percent of Americans don't have seventy million dollars. I'm with you, I, I get it, I get it. But this guy has been in the race for what? I, I think since late October, and here it is. Reported Thursday that Bloomberg has already spent. $363 million on cable, broadcast, and radio advertisements alone. That means they're not even counting digital advertising. That's crazy. They're not even counting digital advertising in this 360. Just cable, broadcast, and radio advertisements. That means all the things that I see, because, surprise, I'm on YouTube. I mostly watch YouTube. Most every time I see that guy's face, they're not counting it in this three hundred sixty three million. That's insane. It's insane the amount of money that this has happened, that this person is spending on it. And not only that, it would set a deadly precedent for the future, saying that look, if you want to win, you have to be a billionaire. Now look, look, I there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not one of these types that say billionaires are evil. We need to get. The, if there's a billionaire, it's a failure in the system. I've heard that one. That's that is just not smart. It it just someone Jeff Bezos is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but the dude is not a human being. He he doesn't the hours he works, the amount of time he puts in, and and people like Elon Musk as well, they're not human. Like, uh, I'm sorry, they're just better at capitalism than most people. I'm like, they shouldn't have to apologize for that. This, that's why I don't think, look, go ahead and spend your money. This is America. This is a free country. You want to spend a billion dollars on a losing campaign, hopefully, go ahead. Go ahead and spend your money. But I was going to say I don't care. I obviously do. <laughs> I do care. But we, ha as the American people, just as he has the right to spend all this money, we have the right to reject him for that. Like, I, I totally agree. We need to get money out of politics, at least some. We need to get some of the money. Like, this is just the, the basic example. This is why I say, like, there's th there's valid points. Like, Jordan Peterson would say, the left and the right, they need each other. They balance each other out. Each other out. There's good points on the left, like, saying, look, this is crazy. This person, Bloomberg, is 
He's the perfect example of why the left has a good point. This guy's a billionaire. He's already spent he's his net worth is sixty two billion. He's already spent three hundred and sixty million, whatever it was. Not even counting digital advertisements, which I'm sure is significant if it's smart. He's a, it is a significant amount on digital advertising. And brings me to my last point about Mr. Bloomberg. If you are a Democrat and you happen to see this, don't vote for this guy. Do not do it. He's not a Democrat. He's not. He's a charlatan. He's a swindler. Let me read this to you. <clears throat> yeah, you probably you, it's probably a little bit too small to read, so I will just read it. Okay, so. A lifelong Democrat, before seeking elective, elective office, Bloomberg switched his party registration in 2001 to run for mayor as a Republican. He, did, he defeated opponent Mark J. Green in a close election held just weeks after the September 11th terrorist attack. He won a second term in 2005 and left the Republican Party two years after that. Bloomberg campaigned. This is the best part. Bloomberg campaigned to change the city's term limit laws and elected him to a third term in 2009 as an independent on the Republican ballot line. His final term ended in December 31st, 2013. So think about that. This guy was a Democrat his entire life. And shockingly, shockingly, just before he runs for mayor, he changes to the Republican Party, wins twice as a Republican, and then the third time as an independent, leaning Republican. And then, after all that, I should say before the third one, this is some, this is straight up like w some Caesar stuff. The, the, the comparisons, this I'm definitely going to do later, the comparisons between the United States and Rome are genuinely scary. They really, if you understand the history and the parallels between the United States and Rome, it will keep you up at night based on what you, if you compare that to what happened in Rome with what could happen here. And this is this is straight up Caesar stuff right here. Okay, so the term limits prevent you from running for a third time. All right, well, um, I mean, I'm in charge right now. Why don't we just campaign and change the law? Oh, great, great job, great job, Bloomberg. No, no, I'm not worried about you at all. Not worried at, at all. This guy's a hack. Get your face off my TV, Mike Bloomberg. <clears throat> Thank you all for listening. Um, I'll go out. I, do not vote for this person. Do not do it. My name is Mike. I'm the American Analyst. If you like what I do, please subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and Mines. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Mines, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.